Ah, we are back with some more reactions. Yeah, so today's video is actually a guy that makes his own mixes. He hit me up like, Kenny, I want you to react to the mixes I made. So here we are. Today we're talking about forgotten moments, and I thought it was cool. So I'm going to see how many of these moments did I actually forget. You know what I'm saying? So be sure to leave a like on the video. If you're new around here, subscribe so you never, ever miss a reaction video. We basically drop in at least one every day, sometimes two. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into these forgotten NBA moments. Again, link in the description to the original content. Shout out to Brandon for hitting a brother up. So, first clip. It's going to be forgotten because this is super grainy and I don't know what the heck is going on here. Okay, pump fake. Some, wait, 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 Is that, how do you pronounce this man's name? Shimon Swift? Is that how you pronounce that man's name? That's a nasty dunk regardless. That is a nasty dunk on my bulls. This is, um... That's a nasty dunk on my bulls, yeah. Iris St. Patrick Day type dunk, you know what I'm saying? Nasty, wow. All right, all right. I, did I forget about that? Yes, it's somewhere deep in the back of my brain because I don't want to see my boys get beat up like that. Next one, I don't remember this one either. So, so far, two for two on them being for. Oh, no, I do remember this. This is the block and then the alley-oop to Will Barton. So, this is not forgotten. It is not forgotten. We actually have seen this clip on the channel maybe four times in the last couple weeks. So that's why I ain't forgot it because I keep seeing it over and over and over. T-Rob with the big old block on Corey Brewer. Amazing block. Probably the highlight of T-Rob's career. And then it ends with a Will Barton alley whoop. Yes. So not forgotten. Technically, you want for two. You want for two because I do remember this one. Perfect. All right. What's the next one? Oh, this is the touch over the pat over the back. You know, 0.2 seconds on the shot clock. I think it's Trevor Booker. Trevor Booker gets the inbound pass, flips it over his head, and boom, that's two points. Look at Andre Robeson. Where the hell is Andre Robeson at? Where? Where does he? What has he been doing? Get well soon, I guess. I don't really know. And I saw Mitch McGrady on the Mitch McGrady on the bench. He started to smoke the ganja and got kicked out of the league, basically. So here's Trevor Booker, a great sub by Coach Quinn Snyder, by the way, for getting Trevor Booker on the court because apparently Trevor Booker is the only player in the NBA that can make a shot like this. Here comes a screen. They was going to lob it to him, but like they just inbound right over the shoulder. Are you kidding me? In the bucket. In the bucket. Highlighted Trevor Booker career too, shoot. He ain't done much else. So, yeah, that's it. Shout out to Trevor Booker, man. Shout out to Trevor Booker. What is the next one? Oh, we just showing the replay? All right, let's see the replay now, just quickly. I mean, that is the definition of getting it off before the timer. 0.2 seconds left, and he got it off? Come on, man. Derek Fisher couldn't get it off in 0.2. All right, so we got Pablo Prigioni calling for a pick from Amari Stoudemire. J.R. Smith. We saw this one, too. This is not forgotten. I'm the one that told y'all about this a couple days ago. I just almost knocked my headset off my head. I told y'all about this clip a couple days ago. So it's not forgotten. Y'all yeah, remember Chris Copeland? Yo, I met Chris Copeland at the airport in, um, where the heck was it? Was I in New York and I met Chris Copeland? No, I was in LA. Where the heck did I meet Chris Copeland? And I met him in the airport. Airport one way. And, um, uh, Steve Novak with a three. Nice. Chris Copeland, he was a cool dude. He's a very cool dude. He had been playing overseas, he said. He didn't tell me where exactly he was playing. But J.R. Smith with the nasty reverse alley -oop, Pablo Pigioni. Like, technically, that pass probably wasn't even supposed to be an alley-oop, but J.R. Smith is just so athletic. He's like, I'm going to turn it into something it wasn't supposed to be. And these Knicks teams were fun. Melo, Iman, Shumper, Tyson Chandler's on that squad. Speaking of them, they back, and this is the playoffs. J.R. Smith on LeBron, the reverse. Yeah, J.R. Smith has some nasty dunks in his career, bro. Most of them coming when he was in New York. But then again, he has something he played for the Hornets too. You know what I'm saying? So like J.R. Smith had always had some bounce. I wish the man was still playing basketball somewhere, but I mean the way he, he messed up in the finals, it's hard for him to get another job based on that. You see Spike Lee on the sidelines. I guess we'll never see that again. See a Spike Lee like that. Oh my god. Like, come on, bro. You have to have incredible bounce to even attempt that. So next we have the Charlotte Bobcats. Good pass. Who is that? Gerald Henderson? Gerald Henderson. Oh, my God. That is a forgotten moment for me. Do not remember 
him doing something like that. And I knew Jared Henderson had some bounce, but Dwight Howard didn't even jump. It's nothing he can do about it. Byron Mullis is on the court. Yeah, those are bad, bad Bobcats teams. Yeah, yikes. Really bad Bobcats team. You know there's a crazy dunk because even the ref had to do like, and one with intensity because that's a nasty dunk. All right. Oh, my God. Jeremy Evans. Y'all remember Jeremy Evans? Oh, my God. Y'all should sure remember him because of stuff like this. Jeremy Evans had some nasty, nasty dunks in his short NBA career. If I'm not mistaken, he won a dunk contest or he was a finalist in a dunk contest where he painted a picture of himself and then he jumped over the canvas of the picture he painted. A lot of P's in that sentence. Extreme block. I think that was Big Baby Glenn Davis and then dunked. On whoever the heck that was. Is that Big Baby? No, that's Ronnie Turioff. Don't jump, Ronnie Turioff. What the heck did you think you were going to get a block? Uh-oh. AI moments. This is not forgotten. Oh, no. This is not an AI moment. Ricky Davis. All right, Ricky. Yo, I literally... Hold on. I have a... No, I don't have a Ricky Davis shirt. I have a Darius Miles shirt. Who was a part of some of these teams and Ricky Davis played with him. Okay, never mind. It's a my it's a Darius Miles shirt. But between the legs and transition in the in the game, even though y'all were down by almost 40. Next, this is the playoffs of last season. Derek White. Yo, Derek White had a crazy it crazy game here. Basically a crazy series now. I'm thinking about it. Just exploded. Just exploded on Mr. Millsap. You get paid $35 million for what? Derek White got him, got that one in the bag. He de he basically didn't expect Derek White to jump up like that, I bet. Because he wouldn't have been down there if he knew that was about to happen. Good pass. There's no way you forgot about this one. There's no way you forgot about this one. Ezeli was up here, man. Ezeli got a ring, bro. Festus was that guy for a little bit. Nah, I'm exaggerating. He definitely wasn't that guy. But he at this moment where he blocked one of the best high flyers in the NBA at the time. Just met him at the rim. Stuffed him. Absolutely stuffed him. A brave man to jump with Blake Griffin, considering all the bodies Blake Griffin was catching at this time in his career. Beautiful. Patrick Beverly? No way. No way Patrick Beverly caught a body like that. Please replay that one. That happened too fast for me to even comprehend. Please replay that one. Okay. Are we going? Yes. Okay. There's the replay. He really just caught one or two or three. Cut between them. Oh, man. Chris Bosch, don't jump. Birdman, don't jump. That's Chicago, baby. That's Chicago fire. You know what I'm saying? All right. Darren Williams. A little chunky, but it's all good because he still had the nasty crossover back then. Guarded by Chris Paul on the island. Oh, my God. First of all, Dear Williams is a crazy man for attempting that because he didn't really have it like that. He wasn't known as a flyer, but he went up against Blake. Blake palmed it in air and caught it. Bro, you see the animation in 2K when somebody had a rim protector badge on, you know what I'm saying? Blake Griffin, we got to probably watch a bunch of Blake Griffin highlights eventually because that man was incredible for a long time. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? Tony Parker in the finals? That's the shot he hit? That was like Harlem Globe Trotter esque. There was, he was just dribbling around on his knees and stuff. Like, who? Oh, man. That just reminded me. One of the biggest, was it Curly? The Harlem Globe Trotter? One of the oldest Harlem Globe Trotter just passed away like a week or two ago. But, like, come on, man. He's just dribbling in traffic on his knees, gets LeBron in the air, and gets the shot up. That's nasty. That's why All right. All right, rookie sophomore game. Trey Burke is on the court. Yo, didn't Deion Waiters catch extreme fire in this game? I'm pretty sure Deion Waiters went off. He went off. Tim Hardaway Jr. Okay. All right. And they were playing two halves. So you you were wondering, like, second quarter, one ten, I mean, 111, 11 No, they were playing two halves. Made a fall and looked at him. Hold on. Come back, Tim Hardaway. Put up in his face. This is where Waiters Island started because it was that one-on-one -on -one battle between him and Tim Hardaway Jr. Yo. 
Yo, whoa, yo, these dudes is going at it. Giannis is on the court. He can't even touch the ball because the Waiters is on fire. Just let him keep going. Dame, stop calling for the ball. Let the real ball is hoop. All right, I guess that's the end of it. But yeah, Dion was like, bing, bing. Made him fall, came back, and then hit a shot in his face. And now Dion Waiters can't do nothing. You heard that? The announcer said two great players going at it. Literally, they know these players weren't going to turn into great players. <laughs> they weren't going to turn into great players. Shout out to him, bro. Kelly Olynyk is in this game. It's weird to see players that hit the rising stars that didn't end up actually being stars. Okay. All right. The Plumley brothers in here, too. Tim Hardaway's hooping. Hold on, Tim. You know what I'm saying? Looking like his father out there. But we back with Dion Waiters. Waiters Island. All right. Can we get some defense, bro? You're not even really contesting the shots. 31 points. For Hardaway and 25 for Dion. Uh oh, Dion tried to get the steal. Nuh uh, Tim Hardaway. I swear I thought this was a Waiters game, but it looks like it was a Tim Hardaway game. I'm sorry for disrespecting you, Tim Hardaway. Let's go. They just going at. I would hate to be on the court right now. Anthony Davis is on the court, but instead we get a Dion Waiters and Tim Hardaway Jr. Pull up in his face. Oh, yeah, that's nasty. I mean, when you're hot, you're hot. You know what I'm saying? When you're hot, when you're hot. This is when you realize that, like, NBA players can make almost any shot if there's not really good defense on them. Bad NBA players, average NBA players. Oh, that's the end of it. Give it back to him. Shout out to them for the teammates for just feeding them. Bradley Beal didn't have to get him the ball back, but he did. Oh, my God. Waiters Island. Waiters Island. That's nasty. That's nasty. Hey, man, shout out to Brandon for the mix, man. Link in the description to the original video. If you enjoyed it, just to leave it a like again. Everybody subscribe. We continue to blow up this channel. And we'll be back. Peace.